Hey, what's going on, everybody? My is Prime85 coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at 10 original Transformers movie figures that I feel need to be remade into the Studio Series line. Uh, this is my personal opinion. If you do like these figures, keep liking them, because most of them are good figures. I just feel they need to be remade into a newer style. So, number one on the list, we have the... Age of Extinction Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. And, um, sure, he does fit what he was in the movie. Just the reason I think he needs a new, uh, mold is because of, uh, he's not at all accurate to the movie with, uh, the paint. The paint is just, he's not supposed to be red and blue. He's supposed to be super, like, dull and rusty and just look like he's all beat up. Another reason I think he needs a remake is the arms. Um, that just, if you wanted to get it to look good, he always has to be like that. And I kind of like to have my figures with straight arms sometimes. And it just looks really weird. You can't have him on your shelf looking like that. That just looks wrong. So, um, there's another reason. The other reason is, again, the paint. His legs, like, uh, taking a look at the, um, the Studio Series Dark of the Moon Optimus. You can see how the legs... That's what it's supposed to look like with the gray foot and blue on the inside. Uh, again, he's a good figure. He does fit what he was. But if you rewatch Age of Extinction, you notice he was basically the uh, first three movie Optimus just with a new chest. Had the same arms and legs as when he was at Peterbilt. So, um, yeah, that's it for Evasion Prime. Uh, number two on the list that I feel needs a remake is another Age of Extinction figure, the Galvatron, the Voyager class. And, um, sure, again, he fits the movie. He looks good. The only reason I think he needs repaint, repaint, remold is because of, again, paint and his back. Because if you do this... You notice that the entire cab of the truck just is on his back. He's a shell former. And some can argue that, yeah, Galvatron didn't transform like a regular Transformer in Age of Extinction. But still, like, if you're going to make a toy, don't put the entire cab of the truck on his back. So, and yeah, he just, he doesn't fit with that gray. He needs to be repainted. Let me redo his gun, because they don't really put missiles and guns anymore. But, um, yeah. Um, who else? Uh, next up on the list, again, another Age of Extinction figure. They need a lot of remakes. Is the Voyager class Hound. I believe he was a Voyager. He might be a Deluxe. But I can, I've never been able to get this guy to stand without support from something. Come on, buddy. Come on, you fat warrior ballerina. There you go. But uh, I feel that Hound needs a remold, a uh, heavy remold, because, you know, in the movie, he was fat. He's not fat with this figure. Uh, I do like how you're able to, like, store all of his guns, the knife on his chest, and the head. That does look pretty good. It's scratched up over time. But, um, yeah, the arms, they just, they, I hate this, the panel sticking out the front. You can uh, pop it off you know, to look a little bit better. He just still... It doesn't work. So. Yeah. So put him off to the back. Come on. Oh, we look. He's standing now. Wow. That's a first. Uh, next up, I have a ton of Age of Extinction figures on here. Like, Age of Extinction and Last Night figures are mostly what this list is. But, um... Next, we have the little deluxe class slug. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, he needs to be redone. Seeing how Grimlock was uh, for Studio Series, I love the Grimlock figure. He's just perfect. This thing, not at all accurate. He's, he's not supposed to be smaller than Optimus Prime. So, yeah. He just he needs, he needs a repaint. I keep seeing repaint. Remold into a massive 
figure like Grimlock was. And there goes Hound and Slug. Oh, come on, guys. They usually don't fight me when the camera's off. And then I turn the camera on and they just hate me. Okay, he's going to be dead the rest of the video. Another Age of Extinction figure is whatever the crap of this little strafe was. Um, you can't go off of the deluxe, but, like, who wants this? He might not even work anymore. Like, Okay, he's supposed to, like, oh, he's locked, that's why. What is the purpose of this? Like, all the stupid gimmicks they filled all their old toys with. It's like, I hate it so much. But, yeah, he needs to be just, like, slug uh, made big, like Grimlock, and actually accurate to the movie. Uh, I know there is a deluxe version of him that's a little bit more accurate, but still not entirely accurate, because he's tiny. Uh, next on the list, we'll go to a Revenge of the Fallen toy, because everything up here is Age of Extinction right now. They need to redo the Fallen. Um, I do love this figure. He looks insanely good. I just want to see how they'd redo him into Studio Series, and like one thing that kind of annoys me are the spring-loaded feet. Because they do that for transformation. Why the springs? Why not just like be able to move them in on a hinge? Because when you you can get him to stand, it just occasionally I'll look over my shelf and he's like popped up and fallen over. But yeah, I just want to see them redo the fallen because I think he'd look way better in the studio series. Put you back there. Uh, next up is a figure that I absolutely hate. Uh, this thing is a piece of crap. And, um, I don't know if you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about, but, um, it's this thing. Like, what is this? The Infernicus. Like, what? Just, like, honestly, what is this? This is not at all what we saw in the movie. Sure, the head looks accurate. The only bot that does look semi-good is the main torso piece. But, like, this thing, like, you try and get him to stand. You can't. Because he's standing on two little dudes that just hang off in the back there. This thing is terrible. Like, I honestly just... If they get a Studio Series Infernicus, I guarantee you I will throw this thing away. I hate this. Just... Go in the back. Um, next up on the list is the uh, Voyager Megatron from the last night. Sure, again, he looks good. He works. But, in my opinion, I don't really like his head because of this like weird paint they keep putting throughout him. And I wish you could like get the metal mask close on his face. You could buy the Wai Zhang or Wei Zhang. Rensora, but that's like 80 bucks, and I don't want to spend 80 bucks for another Megatron. But, um, yeah. I might be getting Unique Toys Dragoon and uh, put him next to Challenger, even though he's huge. But, yeah, this thing, you like, he's just got all this kibble hanging off of him. The whole nose cone just sits back here. He needs to be redone. Uh, next up on the list is one figure that's kind of weird. The Last Night Barricade. Like, that arm still kind of works, but this one just... This thing just looks weird. It looks weird with the entire, just like, front of the truck, or truck, car, down on him. It just looks makes him look fat. Uh, his head is just, like, what is that? That is, like, barely what we saw in the movie. Uh, yeah. He's just, yeah. He's got all this, like, dull, weird-looking plastic. Yeah, he needs to be redone. Just, ugh, gosh. And the last figure. Now, I love this figure. Uh, he's probably one of my favorite, uh, mainline Optimus Primes ever. 
Yes, he's an Optimus. Uh, he's completely movie accurate. He just, again, kind of like Galvatron, he's a shell former. And I'm talking about the last night Voyager Optimus. And again, he's super accurate. I love him. But the things I hate are his weapons. Like, what are these? Why did they keep... Why did they go with the weird orange sword on, like, all of this figure? Uh, again, he's a shelf former. Like, you look at the back. There's the top of the truck. There's the sides of the truck. There's the bottom of the truck. There's parts of the front of the truck. There's the back. It just... It all hangs off of him and makes him look kind of dumb. And, uh, another thing... I'm can't even get it. The arms aren't accurate to the last night because uh, he's supposed to have kind of the, the rounded off arms instead of these at this point once he has his sword. So I'd like to see that remolded. Um, yeah, just he's a shelf warmer. He needs more accurate paint. I don't get the weird paint up here that blue and the red should have been the flames and that's supposed to be silver and yeah, so if they do make this in the studio series, I need I want him with the flames. I guarantee if they do make him, he won't have flames. But uh, another reason, if they did remake him, they'd have to do him in a new size. Because again, bringing in Dark of the Moon Optimus, the scaling doesn't work. He's way bigger. So they'd have to either downsize him or just keep him and say he got bigger, even though he... I believe was the same height in the last night as he was in uh, the first movie, Prevent of Fallen and Dark of the Men. So, uh, yeah, these are ten figures that I want to see remade into the studio series line. Uh, if there's any figures that you don't think need to be remade, okay. They're probably still going to do them because they have to make everything with studio series. That was their goal. But um, let me know. What you guys think about this list down in the comments below? Uh, let me know if you also hate Infernicus and just want to absolutely destroy him. But, um, also, let me know what you guys think of the uh, videos I've been uploading of, like, pictures of new stuff. Uh, I know it's, the editing's weird. The editing software I'm using, you can't change it from, uh, like, fading through the pictures and moving around. I wish it would just go through the pictures and go to the next one, but, um... I'll see if I can figure that out. Let me know what you guys think of those, because I'm kind of enjoying making those, because they're easy, and they upload really fast. But, uh, yeah. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, so you don't miss out any content when I upload it, because I upload really randomly. Um, stupid, uh, coronavirus. People are freaking out about it for no reason, so we're all quarantined to our houses. And uh, Megalopolis just got an email from them, and they have the entire new studio series wave in stock. And I can't get up there because of the stupid quarantine. Um, what's crazy, though, is uh, I live here in Utah, and we just had a massive earthquake. And um, that kind of ruined some stuff that I had displayed. A few things fell over. I thought they were broken, but... Luckily, nothing was. Um, I found a couple studio series. I found Fortress Maximus. What you can see right there. Bring up. Fortress Maximus is on the very top right there. I found him on the ground. So that kind of ticked me off. Uh, most of these guys were fine. Those dudes were good. Um, but yeah, nothing up here fell or was damaged. Luckily, I was... If, he, if MP10 had fallen and broke, I probably would have quit with just YouTube. I would have been done. Uh, yeah. But uh, give me some suggestions on what you guys want me to do for videos. I'm thinking of going back and reviewing some old toys, maybe reviewing some of these guys. Um, I've got some ideas for videos in the future once I'm able to, you know, get stuff back in. But, uh, yeah. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, goodbye.